Nope, that's not true. So as we see, we are getting 10% already, as you see. And we are getting only one caravan from uh, from Berlin to Malacca. So it doesn't work. I actually thought that it works this way as well, but apparently it's not working this way. It's working differently. Like I can re I can read one more time. So example, if you have a trade route from Berlin to Geneva, from Munich to Geneva, from Munich to Berlin, and Berlin to Brussels, then all cities with the Hans would get 15%. So basically, what's what said in here? Munich only connects to Geneva, but Munich gonna have a 15% buff because of hands so that's it So we have Hans in here, let's check. Modifier from Hans, you see, 10% already. So basically what you need is all, you need to connect all the cities between each other and just get three trade routes into into a city states and you're gonna get a Hans bonus straight away. Well, that's a fucking amazing building, I have to admit. Yeah, I have uh, caravans from two cities to Malacca. But I thought initially how it works, you need a, like to get a 15% bonus. I thought I needed to have three caravans from Berlin to any other city state. But apparently you just need in total three caravans or cargo ships from throughout of your empire. And you are actually getting buff for all of your empire. That's that's how it works. Apparently, you just need to have a connect road connections between your cities. We're gonna like check it out, but for example, like Munich, it doesn't have a, any kind of uh, caravan stuff, but it actually gets enhanced bonus as you see, which is amazing.
from what I can understand, like, uh, so look at this example, guys. I'm riding right now trade route from Berlin to Malacca, from, from Frankfurt to Malacca. And I'm getting Hans bonus in all of my empire that has a uh, Hans. So this city, for example, not involved into any shenanigans with the trade routes with the city states, but we are getting Hans bonus in here. Just because he it is connected to the trade route of our empire. This one, same. So I assume what gonna happen if we're gonna get this cargo ship towards Malacca. Our all 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 our empire gonna have a 15% buff towards hammers. As soon as like we have a Hans in our cities. Just pretty amazing. So I actually was. I don't like your army score, Sergio. <laughs> Cannot do anything about that. Are you getting gifts from six states? No, I'm upgrading stuff. But your gold is not going lower than 1.7k. I want to do that too. Well, let's do Malacca. Can you borrow me like 1.5k gold, please? 15%. Yep, that's interesting. So I wonder if there is a cap on that. If if actually fifteen percent is the, is a, is a cap for Hans, or it's actually you can possibly get more. Why am I first on science? Why do you have hands in capital? It's not fair. Also, Sergio, your hands is giving uh, plus 5% reduction to your every city. For trade route, Deutschland. Or for a city that gives the trade route. Sorry, what time is that? Uh, your hands is giving production uh, to your whole empire, or just for a city who sends a trade route? Well, apparently to the whole empire as soon as you have a hands in the in the city and uh, road connection. So if I'm not, if I'm having like in London Hans, but I'm not doing any trade routes to uh, city state, I'm still getting the Hans bonus from from other trade routes that I have. Yes. I'm I'm testing that because I I actually I was thinking it to work it worked differently. Do you want something for uh, Sutras, Sergio? I'll, I'll see. Wait a second.
29 Bob Cater drauf kommen. Also so. Ja, yeah, ich sehe. So, what about Citrus? Oh, I don't really need that. You can help uh, the poor people of Inca. <laughs> Now. No, I thought we were friends. Well, we are. Now I'm going to kill you, Sergeant. Are you in position to do so? Depends on what you're going to do this game. Maybe I am. Damn, it's it's rising, guys. It's 20. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? It, it's it's literally cheating. What the hell is that? Is that out of cap for real? Like you can literally like do whatever you li like. That's well, if that's the case, that's probably the best bonus for a civilization I ever So in uh Because then you literally can get a buff Yeah, I'm getting like 20% throughout of my empire What's happening, sir? How's your sign going? Well, I'm slowly getting behind why? It's hard to tell. My production actually fucking suck. Even though I'm second in production, it's just because I have so many cities. Your production surge is scaring me. And now it's going to be even more insane. So now we can actually grow.
Damn boys, it's 25. <laughs> That's so fucking rigged for real. So rigged. I see a lot of scientists from you, Serbia. I saw one in Munich, now I see one in London. That's pretty interesting. How many tags behind the leader? Two? That's not gonna be a problem. And how are you doing there, Gers? Guys, that's that's and literally 30% of buff why, uh, towards uh, whole my empire. Austria didn't um, go for embargo city states. Damn. So sick. I mean, you're obviously a leader and it would have hurt you so much. I like how I'm second and hammers and you're 100 hammers ahead of me. Girls, Renaissance era? That's some deep stuff. I think, uh, I think Girls is just like, no. Nah. I'm not gonna play this game. I'm gonna go AFK after queuing up a thousand of things. Hmm, I guess so. Because I asked him how is how's it going for him and he's like nothing. I'm only playing uh, now because I wanna see how many forts uh, will this guy build into me.
Would you show us religion? Well, I have different religions. I have uh, England religion from this side, which is uh, just Pegasus and culture from shrines and monuments. And uh, here we have uh, swords into plowshares, and each world wonder provides some fate. Astralera. The German Empire wields an army that could wipe us off the planet. Do everything we can to remain at peace with them and build military as fast as possible to make our situation less perilous. My uh, war advisor knows ship. I'm not sure, Astra actually doing pretty well in this game. Yes, but he's behind you a lot. Not sure, not sure, like his capital is insane and he's has, he has Lignum and Porcelain Towers together and Coffee House on top of that, so... And yes, like... but you... You can wipe him with your production, just like if you will go... Uh, any way of aggression, you will just kill him because you have more production, I think. And your production will, production will only grow. We're gonna use this scientist for uh, public schools. Well, for now, I'm just... For now, I'm just trying to sim city. Not sure what's gonna happen next. Ah, whatever, let's do this. Party leadership. And yes, I'm actually thinking that it's one of the most amazing cuts I've ever seen. Just look at that. It's so beautiful. Well, he started moving towards artillery, by the way. East India.
Need caravanseries, yes. No doubt, we need caravanseries. Modern era. Yeah, with radio. So, maybe another shot. Yeah, trade route, I'm already building caravan, no worries. In our Astra goes for artillery. Is that a question or the statement? No one in. Uh, well, actually, someone in metallurgy already. Well, that's a nice bulb. He actually got electricity, radio, gunpowder, and metallurgy. Pretty much straight away. Actually, I need mine in here. <laughs> Thirty-five percent. Would you imagine that? That's uh, just like. Next level. Freedom. Policies of other players, tradition, rationalism, freedom, liberty, aesthetics, liberty, piety, liberty, honor. Yeah, 
here goes scrap. <laughs> Girls. Girls. I'm crushed. Okay. Is there a reload? There will be. Time to take a shot. GG girls. Yep, GG. Well, after this, I have to agree, like, Hans is actually... So basically what you need is you need, like, 7 city empire, for example, and only one city state behind your empire, and all the car caravans or cargo ships or whatever, just for that one city state, and then you are getting the full bonus of Hans, which is, like, insane, like... At the moment, my whole empire getting 35% of additional hammers, which is like, what the fuck is that? I'm gonna go smoke, be right back. So there, there is obviously like ways to counter that. One way is to embargo city-states, of course. Another way is to actually like prevent from uh, trading with the city-states. Well, you can just pillage those trade routes if you if you are in position to do so. For example, uh, like in case is pretty much in position for that. If he wants to, he can actually pillage that, and basically that will bring your production down by a lot. Well, something something new every day. That's actually interesting. I was like, I I was thinking that Germany unique ability works totally different. I thought you just like getting uh, five percent for the city you are actually using the cargo ship or uh, caravan. And I actually thought there there is a cap on that, which is like fifteen or twenty percent. But as you see, there is no cap, and it works for. Uh, Whole Empire, which is insane. Damn.
Be right back, guys. Yeah, I guess like Germany is a pretty neat uh, patronage na na nation. So on top of uh, every benefit from patronage, like uh, merchant confederacy and stuff, you are actually getting Hans bonus in uh, industrial era, which is like insane. The the thing is uh, from our spot, like we only had one expand reasonably. <clears throat> so you cannot like play with two cities for the most part so I guess and apart from that like Hans is actually works this way as much as bigger your empire the more you get hammers so I guess like full honor was the way to go just needed to like get some city states alive let them live for the Hans bonus. From what we can see, you basically need only one, one city-state, maybe two, not more. And you can <clears throat> utilize that. Yeah, and like Panzers are... German, German Panzers are ju just insane, I have to admit. The problem is in this game, like, my science is not so, so amazing. So I'm not really sure, are we gonna be able to actually get to the, to, to those tanks. I can't move. Okay. You are surprised I'm still going? Why would you say that?
Им готовы, Да, цик. Uh, we killed England with uh, partially barbarians converted into our nation. Partially <coughs> barbarians upgraded into combo bows. So it was a uh, zerg rush with the uh, warriors and combo bows for the most part. And on behalf of uh, England nation, I have to agree. You cannot stop that. <laughs> 20. That may become a problem. Holds fair. Uh, so from what I I see like probably like Netherlands Inca gonna hold down I so What I kind of want to be relevant why uh, Because the only way for me to catch up with my cities is to war and if I'm going to war you, you're gonna overflow me with gold per turn, production per turn. And if I will going, if I'm going to war Zuso, I'm gonna just give you victory.
Yeah, I mean, if we're gonna team him, he's Azusa. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to do something. We can try. But I don't <laughs> see how I win in that spot. I mean, if I will kill you before you get to buying legions, that's cool. If not, you can buy a legion per turn. Easily. And my production is not enough to compete with that. And I don't have gold to upgrade my unit. I think CC is the call here. Depends on what us also wants. I mean, I would have had a good chance in winning this game if someone proposed Embargo City States. I think then I would have probably get something to work. I mean, I'm first in science, but um, it's only because I'm taking for taking for cheap text and stealing text from you, and will be stealing text from you and um, Mr. Azusa. But I won't be able to produce enough. I mean, uh, some of my cities takes take like 19 turns to get a factory. Let's go with that, uh, Sergio. Do you think I'm going to be able to do something to you as artillery? Mm, I don't feel like you're getting to artillery before me. I'm getting there in uh, three turns. To the arty? Yes. Well, then Not maybe three, you. But, but I let me see. In five, five times. And I have like no units. <coughs> then I don't really see the point going into RT if you cannot like upgrade a lot of units. I mean, I was going for. Uh, Arty because I was afraid of your army scores and I realized you are not going for Arty when I was halfway down. Then I thought I will go um, autocracy for spy stealing and um, how is it called and happiness from armories and barracks to get happiness going for me. But I don't have to like any way to grow my cities. I will have to unwork every like 
slot to actually like get at least some growth and even that way my seeds will grow like for six turns. I mean, uh, you and Otsuzo have um, public schools. I will steal to public schools uh, in like five turns, maybe. But it will take me like most of my cities will take like ten turns to build, and ten turns for building schools is like pretty sad. I mean, okay, it can be relevant for a pretty long time, but I don't see myself winning from the position. Especially with that Matt Kingsire building forts into my lane roads. He can, like, at every turn, if I'm going to glass cannon build many um, infrastructure, he will just go and kill me. Can sit in uh, Europa? Yeah. Armories It's not in replaceable parts yet Well, I'm not like forcing you to stay if you don't feel like you can win. But the Netherlands, anyways, want to play the South. So. I might as well kill Netherlands, but it's gonna be like a dick move. Oh. Actually, it took foreign legions. I will 